last few days I've been all over Marketplace looking for some good deals so we can get Dad's Nova back together. And today, I have found some pretty good stuff. Um, we're about four or five hours from the house up in the great state of Kentucky, the flatlands of Kentucky. It's beautiful up here. It's been a great drive. And I'm excited to show you all what we got. Once we get back to the 2003 Oxycontin Capital World, Lee County, Virginia, I'll lay it all out for you and let you see. Don't mind my windshield. The bugs up here are wild, man. I done hit a down pterodactyl earlier. Crazy. James, the Jimmy Beam Distilling Company. I'm home. That was pretty sweet. I ain't know that place is up here. I was riding around seeing Jim Beam. <laughs> I was like, I'm home. As soon as I pulled in, I thought of Hank Williams Jr. You know, I have loved some ladies, and I have loved them me. They both tried to kill me back in 1973. <laughs> Dude's tire is absolutely maxed out, and he's been out here doing like 100 mile an hour pull. This is like Thunder Valley. If you're from the Springfield, Kentucky area, why'd you put no black marks on these roads? These things are beautiful. I mean, every road up here goes for like 10 miles, not a house one. And they're straight and paved nice, real wide. I'm used to jump back on. I ain't seen the first set of slick black marks or no puddles, no nothing. Anybody up here wants to race, let me know. We'll come up here. This is sweet. About to make it here. Better strap in. Two days later. bone dry so we're out of water well luckily I have found this oasis and it's only a dollar I'm pretty sure it rents well 
I got two jugs of water. It's a zone high pressure rinse. I tried every side, but they put some soap in it. So hopefully I don't turn this son bitch into a washing machine and blow a hose. Wish us luck. We've got a water pump leak. Every time you shut it off, it starts leaking. So the water pump has went bad. She's doing good now, holding water. Back to Virginia we go. We had the bed of that old Ford packed. We managed to get quite a few good deals. So let me show you what we got. So summertime is upon us and we've got to get Dad's Nova together. I promised him that we're gonna cruise this summer and we're gonna do it. So as you can tell, first off, we need some wheels and a whole lot of other things. So we got these brand new off my good buddy George back for a heck of a good deal. And, you know, I've always been a fan of chrome on an older muscle car. In the 1960s, 70s, I always thought I had to have chrome. But, I mean, it's just a simple set of jig spikes, but I think it's gonna look pretty dang good on it. I test fitted one minute ago on the back. They're a 15 by four in the front and a 15 by 10 with a five and a half back spacing. They fit perfect. Get like a 255, 60, well, if we can do 275, 60s, we will, but they fit real good. We had a, a five and a half, eight inch wheel on it at one time, and it was too far in. But for a paint scheme that we've got picked out, I believe the black wheels will look good. Like I said a second ago, I love chrome on an old car, but we're gonna black the bumpers out on this thing or color match them. And we've picked out either like a uh, cherry, darker red like on a new Ford F-150s or either a, a blue with kind of like when the sun hits it it's brighter blue but real dark almost like a midnight blue so that's what we're leaning towards right now and, you know plans changes but we got one more well, a couple more really good things for this old Nova so now that we got a motor for the wagon we can pull the small block Chevy out and when we pull that out we're gonna need transmission because that's sold automatic well we need so we bought a soggy knoll sack knoll soggy knoll i call them soggy knolls because they're soggy they're weak as piss they come in like passenger small keep against small block or six cylinder cars and we're going to put a 700 horse small block 400 in front of it but i mean to get us going it's going to work out well we got a super good deal on it uh we got 500 dollars into this a drive line from a Nova and a four speed Hurst Indy shifter and a McLeod clutch. The very nice brand new McLeod clutch. So we, we hit gold on that. 500 bucks is well worth that to me. Again, this is a weaker transmission, but it's a single traction street tire car. You know, eventually we're going to build the rear end, but let's just get that out and about and bang gears and hopefully not bust this thing immediately. But it is what it is. 500 bucks, a shifter goes for more than that brand new. So it's well worth the deal. We got a drive line. Oh, and while we was there, we managed to get a pretty nice little radiator and a couple gauges for another $100. So the dude hooked us up. So we got a radiator, gauges, a transmission set up for dad's uh, Nova. I've already got a bell housing. We didn't get one, but that's fine. We have one. So we're pretty close when we get this thing together. I need to figure out some better motor mounts than what we had. We throw the small block Chevy back in it, get some headers, put your transmission in it, drive line, and the thing's rolling. The brakes work. We just got to wire it. I've been working on that in my spare time. But while I was out and about, I got me a couple things too. 
So when I'm not giving my life to the station wagon, I've been tinkering with this GTO a little bit. And uh, I've leaked it out on our TikTok and whatnot a little here and there. If we're building an LSA LS3 T56 setup. When I got this car, I already had an 88 Hendrix Racing setup in it, uh, turbo 400 swap. The guy had kept his motor out of it, the transmission went down, and he let me have the swap and whatnot. So I wanted a nice driver to get out and beat on. So a few weeks ago, I pulled the turbo 400 stuff out. Traded it off for a T56 setup. I had an LS3 with rod bolts. I put that on a raffle and I ended up selling it straight out. I was planning on doing a 418 with trick flow heads. I found a good deal. Well, that deal fell through, so I got a block. I actually got a short block off Chris Sherrill. He gave me a good deal on it. So hopefully in the near future, we're gonna do a rod piston combination at least in this block. Uh, I may end up throwing it in as is, but we'll show it to you. This thing's approximately got 140,000 miles on it, he said, but it's clean as a whistle. And honestly, I've been thinking about throwing it in there just to run it, but I would like, you know, the peace of mind of having a good piston and good rod in it. Cause with the LSA, we was gonna port it to death Try to get about 800 wheel out of it and then spray it on top of that. So I feel like we're gonna need a little something, something to hold it. We'll get more into this car once we get a few projects finished. I got a customer car to do. I got my uncle's truck to do. And you know, we're constantly on the wagon and then dad's Nova. So this will be coming. I still got a Mustang to finish too. I'm doing a, a budget build. That's been a process. But this thing's gonna be rowdy. It's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. I, I enjoy a stick shift vehicle, so I think a race car ought to have a clutch pedal and we put T56 in this thing. It probably would have been faster with a turbo 400, but not as fun. I wanted that fifth and sixth gear so I could get out, ride this thing down to Tennessee or Kentucky, race a few boys, come home in it. So that's what we're going to do. We'll have some badass content when that gets together. Won't be long. Won't be long at all. I just lack like an old pan and a couple of small things. And finally, we got a full set of old Super Duty Alcoa wheels, whatever you want to call them, bullet holes for the old OBS. Yeah, she just got a new water pump, but the thing is in need of tires. Yeah, we'd be riding on baloney skins. And I think these old wheels will look home, look right at home on it. I definitely eventually want to make that truck look like it comes brand new out of 96. And this will be the way to do it. And just like that, folks, that's a day in my life. That's uh, an everyday thing for me. We trade constantly. That's how we keep the wheels turning on this machine. Y'all stay tuned. Remember, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, and every Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern, we're giving y'all content. Love y'all.